good morning dear students today we are going to talk about the poem what work is written by philip levine the american poet of urban working class life the poem is included in the book spectrum literature and contemporary issues prescribed for fourth semester ug students under calicut university for their english common course since the poem is purely autobiographical before analyzing the poem let's have a discussion on the life and works of the poet philip levine was born on 10th january 1928 as the second son of the russian jewish immigrants harry levine and esther preskolnik he was brought up in the industrial detroit the poverty of his family forced him into child labor he started working in an automobile factory when he was only 14 years old he completed his schooling from detroit central high school and had his ba from wayne state university his first marriage with patty cantorman lasted only for 2 years he later married an actress Frances Hartley he attended writing workshops in the University of Iowa and earned an MFA from there he later worked as a teacher in various universities he was appointed as the poet laureate of america from 2011 to 2012 he died of pancreatic cancer on 14th february 2015 now about the works of philip levine the economic and social world of 20th century detroit is one of the major subjects of levine's works his first work of poetry was on the earth which was published in 1963 this collection was quite traditional in form and content his other major works include not this pick published in 1968 They Feed Their Lion published in 1972 1933 published in 1974 The Names of the Lost published in 1976 A Walk with Tom Jefferson published in 1988 What Work Is published in 1991 The Simple Truth published in 1994 The Mercy published in 2004 and The News of the World published in 2009 His poetry was mostly autobiographical, focusing on his lost childhood in the automobile factories and the tiresome monotonous jobs he was forced to do. Contemporary critics often label Levine a working class poet, describing his writing as working class verse. Levine's poetry illustrates one of the most basic tenets of Marxist theory, that is class antagonisms comprise all of human history now coming into the awards and recognitions that levin received he won national book award twice in 1980 for ashes poems new and old and in 1991 for what work is he has also won the celebrated pulitzer prize in 1995 for the simple truth As we have already discussed, he was appointed as the poet laureate of America from 2011 to 2012. Now, let's have an analysis of the poem What Work Is. The poem What Work Is is the title poem of Philip Levine's collection of poems published in 1991. According to David Baker, This collection of poetry is one of the most important books of poetry of our time. In this poem, Levine talks about the miserable conditions of manual laborers. The poem speaks about the loneliness, helplessness, poverty, and desperation of the workers. The poem is mostly autobiographical, which reflects the miseries Levine had undergone while he worked in the factories. Levine addresses the terrible conditions of the workers and shows how this industrialized world represses the manual labor the famous critic herbert leibowitz commented on levin's poetry levin has returned again and again in his poems to the lives of factory workers trapped by poverty and the drudgery of the assembly line which breaks the body and scars the spirit 
Levine begins the poem with the first person plural pronoun we, which indicates the universality of the sufferings of the working class. It also shows the collective nature and solidarity of the workers. The poem begins with the people, the poor workers, standing in line for work at Ford Highland Park. They don't have permanent jobs and every day they have to wait in front of the factory to be called for work. The worst part is that when their turn comes, the owner of the factory or supervisor might say there is no work on that day. Levin then states, you know what work is. If you are old enough to read this, you know what work is. Although you may not do it, forget you, this is about waiting. Levin portrays that work is solely to get money to support people's families and that work is or should be your entire life. According to Phoebe Pettingel from the new leader, the work referred to is something that civilized literary society too often represses as a subject, that is manual labor. Thus, he speaks of the men and women who perform endlessly repetitive tasks on automobile assembly lines, those who stand in the rain in a long line waiting at Ford Highland Park for work. This type of work is echoed throughout the poem. Levine's past in automobile factories greatly influenced this. His adolescence consisted of industrial Detroit, Michigan. This type of work is all the work he knew. This is why Levine writes so passionately of it. Throughout the poem, Levine focuses on the person reading the poem or a character in the poem. By using the pronoun you, he makes the reader feel as though the emotions that Levine displays are true to them. He creates empathy in the reader towards the workers. The reader himself feels standing in rain waiting for work. The stress on the pronoun you facilitates to transform the emotions of the readers into empathy. Levine states that people only understand the life of workers when they experience at least once the hardships and miseries of the poor workers and go through the dehumanizing task of waiting in a line for work. Then the poet finds someone who looks like his elder brother. This instantly gives the reader a ray of hope. However, Levine quickly shuts down that hope, just as a real worker would feel that sudden gain, then loss of hope. The man who looks like his brother is described with a sad slouch, the grin that does not hide the stubbornness, the sad refusal to give in. This description stands for all the workers standing in line. They all are fighting against the miseries of their life and they refuse to give in or yield before the hard realities of life. The climax of the poem is in lines 20 and 21. No, we are not hiring today for any reason he wants. This is a realization point for the man in the poem. He realizes that even though he knows he will not find a job, he still looks for one. Before the man gets in line, he was most likely at his house feeling down because he can't even feed his own family breakfast. After the poem, the man has realized the things but still has that family to feed and is somewhat jerked back to reality. The rest of the poem speaks of him missing his brother. This shows that he realizes that there is more to life than just working. Levin says, even if the reader's own brother is going through all these hardships, the reader wouldn't understand the pain until he experiences himself, until the reader finds himself standing in the line for work, until he gets rejected by the supervisor when his turn comes. Then only, he would understand 
how much suffering his brother was undergoing to support uh, to support and feed his family and then his love towards his brother would overflow such as in lines 22 to 24 you love your brother now suddenly you can hardly stand the love flooding you for your brother this makes the reader feel sadness and voiceless which is exactly what levin wants the reader to feel because he aims to portray the voiceless worker the poem ends on a sad note because even though the man would like to see his brother he can't because his brother is at home recovering after a hard night of labor at cadillac the brother cannot find time which is what he most wants to do the poet tells is the ignorance of what the work really means to a laborer that prevents the reader from hugging and kissing his brother and telling him that he loves him in this poem levin defines and expresses the struggles between the working class and the upper middle class the narrator's brother can't find time to practice singing opera because he is busy with searching and doing all kinds of jobs to support and feed his family if he were if he were a member of the upper class he would not have to expend himself at the cost of his education just to survive it can be seen as one way the working class and upper class struggle is defined the narrator who waits in line to see if he can get a job that day is at the mercy of the upper class manager who decides who can work or not this represents the struggle between the two classes as well as the balance of power between the two the tone of the poem resembles the tone of that whole great depression era of the 1930s the poem itself embodies the loneliness desperation helplessness and the boundaries felt by every man in poverty during that time levin truly has accomplished his goal in speaking for the voiceless worker thank you